treasures and today I'm going to do a tutorial video about walking through setting up shop for Etsy. So recently I started my second Etsy shop for, um, well I already had it set up, but anyway I was doing the Printful Etsy integration for the print on demand um, shirts and things that you can do there and this is a great opportunity let's say if you are not approved for Merch by Amazon yet or you're just wanting to have a little bit extra, maybe you are on Merch by Amazon. So I thought, let's go ahead and do this. I've been getting a ton of questions, as I'm sure maybe Yang and some of the other guys have about getting set up. Ooh, I had some notes. I'm gonna grab them too. Cause I was trying to write notes, but people were sending me to make sure we answer them. I'm gonna reach, it's like right behind us. Hang on, I can still talk to you. I can hear you too. No, I can't really, I'm just teasing. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I have notes. So I decided to go ahead and do this live because um, a lot of times I'll, because I've been on Etsy for so long selling in my vintage shop, um, I might skate over things that are, that are obvious to me and may not be obvious to everybody else. So if something pops up that I'm just kind of like glossing over, I wanted to be able to be live to answer any questions. And then if you're watching this later, and you have questions, leave me a comment because I'll come back and fill in, do little updates and things like that. But I am live, so this could go really awesome, but knowing me, it's gonna like be a major cluster brownie full of nuts. <laughs> but that's cool, it's cool. So let me pop the chat up because I do have some friends in the chat that have come to give support and probably, probably rib me a little bit. <laughs> hey, not so perfectly me and Lorraine. Hi, Mike, the treasure gnome. How's it going? Okay, so I am setting up a new Etsy shop. So again, I have two. I have my vintage Etsy shop that I set up like, I don't know, in 2012. So it's been maybe four or five, six years. I don't know. How. Math. Um, so I have that one. And then I set up another one for digital downloads like because I was doing digital downloads for teacher stuff and for like coupon books, and which is another great option if you're wanting to sell on Etsy. Um, but I'll show you that in a little bit. But before I do, I wanna make sure that I use a link to set up my shop. So I, I recommend this for you. I have a link in the description below. It's like get 40 free listings if you set up. So you're starting out already with 40 free listings because it's, it's 20 cents a listing that lasts for four, four months. But because I'm not wanting to do that, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna use my friend Joe Clays, cause I'm a good friend. Thanks, you're welcome, Joe. <laughs> so here we go, I am clicking on his link so that I can get 40 free listings. Look at me, I'm all choppy. What happened, my head got chopped off. It's there, hey, that's better. Okay, um, hello, hello, came to give a like. Thank you so much, Mike. And electronic firing squad, meaning to set up Etsy forever. Okay, so I, what I had to do was go, I made a new eBay, I mean not eBay, but a new Google, um, a new Google email, thank you, so that I could create a new Etsy shop. So a gift for you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sign in to start shopping. I'm not needing to shop. How do I close this thing out? Hang on. I don't want this. Okay, so I am going to create a new Etsy shop and I create, and my, my idea was maybe what I'm gonna do is, is separate my, my printful stuff by baby stuff. I'm trying to copy just that, but it's not a Texas gal baby shop. Is that what I called it? Texas gal baby shop, okay. So <laughs> I'm going to, week, can't be blank. All right, I'm gonna just put Margaret here because that's my name, Margaret. And then Texas, Texas gal baby shop. Uh, at gmail.com <laughs> and then I'm gonna put in a password that I'm not telling you it's super secret and so hard <laughs> that you are not ever gonna guess it so don't even try and then here we go there we are open my Etsy shop look it's like a big present okay I haven't done this in forever so <laughs> it'll be new for all of us all right here we go so now we're setting up our shop preferences let me see in the chat if, hopefully there's no questions yet. It's pretty straightforward, I hope. 
Um, hi, Julie. Um, Thrifty Paper Garden. I can't remember if I said hi before or not. Um, sell so many 80s and 90s. Good. Oh, yeah, perfect for Etsy. And I do. I cross-post so much. So, I mean, it, this could go for either if you're wanting to set up shop to sell handmade vintage supplies, anything, or if you're wanting to do the printful Etsy integration. So if I refer to one or the other, it, it, this will work for both. So thanks. Okay, okay. Um, I'll get into talking to people and then we'll just take forever. Okay, so I want shop language, English, country, I'm in the U.S., U.S. dollars. Selling is my full-time job. I sell part-time, but I hope to sell full-time. I sell part-time and that's how I like. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll put this one. I don't know. Does it matter? I guess I sell full-time, but not really. So I'll put part-time. Okay, so now I want to put in my shop name. So I'm entering Texas Gal... Uh-oh, that's caps. Uh-oh. Your shop name may only include unaccented room without spaces. Okay. Texas gal baby shop. Huh? Let's try that. Check availability. Available. Fancy that. Okay, so then I don't know why this little button won't go away, but okay, whatever. Okay, so here was what here was one of the things that people were saying. It's making me list something. I don't have anything to list right away right away. Okay. Now I'm gonna click away because I have some shirt designs on my on my desktop, and I'm worried if I pull them up, you'll see them. Um, so I'm gonna click away over here, and I'm gonna pull up something. <laughs> I'm gonna add a listing real quick. So I'm gonna add a picture. I'm clicking on add listing, and it's asking me to add a photo, and I'm going to pick one that is just like a fake. It's not real. Okay, so let me come back over here now because. <laughs> Like I said, I have some shirt designs on my dashboard, so I don't want to, I don't want to share what what I've been working on over there. So okay, oh hey, home base hustler, hey Glenn, the swamp picker's there, and some more people. Lydia came in. Hi Lydia, hello, crafty crafty reseller. Okay, so here we go. I I popped a picture in here. They've given me a little, yeah. I can't really list this. It's just a fake. Okay, listing looks best with photos of at least this and that. Okay, so now you can put in ten photos. Used to only be five. You can adjust your thumbnail, move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller, and save that. If I go too fast, you guys tell me. My title is I'm selling a big bag of money. And of course, I generally add more, but since I'm just making this as a placeholder, I'm going to leave it just like that. Who made it? I did, of course. Uh, what is it? It's a finished product. When did you make it? Uh, I make it to order. I'll send you that bag of money whenever I make it. Um, and let's just say it's, no, it's a bag. Okay, so if you're doing the printful integration, you won't have to mess with any of this because they have it already set for you. Um, but, hi guys in the chat. Um, so you would have to come through and, now if you're selling a vintage item, you would say another company or person, to be serious, it's a finished product. Um, and then when is it made, you know, if you were doing something along those lines to be serious, that's what you would do. So, and then you would choose the category, handbag. Again, I'm, I'm just blah, blah. This is the dummy one because we have to set up shop. And then tags, this is where you'd add all your tags. This is for search engine optimization. So you wanna make sure you get your tags in there. Um, and when, when we do a printful thing, I'll go through a, a quick printful listing to show you um, after we do this. Price, I'm gonna put like $100,000. And I only need one, right? Um, shipping cost. So <clears throat> I feel like I'm going fast already. Tell me to slow down, you guys. <laughs> okay. Neville says, open an account um, on each Printful and Etsy earlier today. Oh, thank you, Neville. Thank you. So now you can do calculate shipping costs, which is done already, again, if, you use, if you're going to do this for Printful and the Etsy integration. Um, when I... When I did my um, vintage shop, I, I entered them manually because I, I do a bit of flat rate shipping. So depending on how you want to go, you can, you can do that. So I'm going to just click on calculate them for me. And my zip code is 77549. My processing time, this is kind of like if you sell on eBay, one, two, three, and now again, the printful, this one is already re is filled in, so I'll show you that in a second. Where I will ship to, so United States and worldwide, you can you know change this if you want, like only United States, and then shipping service, 
it's showing all of these options. So I guess the buyer can choose. Because again, I don't use Calculate For Me on my vintage shop. I just haven't. Oh, did you? You made three Etsy sales this week. Nice. I made one finally. <laughs> I made one last night. Okay, so my handling fee, I don't really do handling fees. And you can choose here. Now, because it's calculating it for me, it's uh, asking me to put in my package size and my the weight is, I don't know, let's make it a first class item. So let's do 10 ounces. Choose destination. Oh, if I want to preview this, I don't need to really do that. And then I'm going to come down here and is it going to ask me to list it or is it, this is a preview of it? Big bag of money. Okay, stock your shop. Don't go in there and buy it, you guys. <laughs> I can't read what this little thing is because that button is right in the way. It's driving me nuts. Okay, my okay. now I have to set up my Etsy, ex, uh, how I'm going to get paid. So, how are we doing? Any questions, you guys? Maybe I should check before I jump and keep moving further along. Let me scoot that up real fast. Um, hello, open, okay, good, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so, so far, there are no questions. So here's how you'll get paid. Do I do worldwide shipping with the Printful integration? That's a good question. When we get there, I'll look and see, because they have it already filled in. So I'm guessing, you know, Printful fills in all of their standard stuff with that integration. So we'll go, we'll look at that on... I'll flip it over to my other sh other store because then I'd have to, anyway, long story. Maybe I should. That's another video. We'll deal with that in another video. How about that? Um, <laughs> so where's my bank located? It's in the U.S. So let's find United States. Here we go. And look, here are, here are all the options because I have had some people ask about PayPal. I see PayPal there. Etsy Payments gives buyers the most payment options and gives you Etsy seller protection. So I'm going to flip out so you can't, I'm not flipping out, but I'm going to do this so you don't see my banking information. Ooh, I need a routing number? Oh dear. Um, okay, that's, I need a checkbook for that, don't I? Because I don't know my routing information. Okay, here's what we're going to do. If you are, I told you, this could be, this could go either direction. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to run get my checkbook because it's in the other room. And while I do that, I want you guys in the chat to, let's think, let's think. Um, tell everybody what tier you're on and what, we'll just start with that. I should be back by then. Ready, set, go. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so the reason I had to run away again, if you're just coming in, <laughs> is because you have to fill in your banking. Where should we deposit your funds? And it does not give you the option to deposit it into PayPal. So, I was ready. Oh, if, <laughs> sorry, if, sorry, tier, tier, if you were a merch by Amazon, you're what, you're tier for selling shirts. Apologies if you're here for Etsy, for other things. Okay, let me enter in full name on account. I'm just going to say it all out loud, so get your pencils ready. Ready? Texas Gal Treasures. <laughs> account type checking. Routing number. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, I don't want to make sure I flip any numbers around. I would joke with you about it, but I will, I'll turn some of the numbers around. Okay, and then you have to enter the routing number, and then you have to enter the account number. So you have to know the routing number. Usually it's on your checkbook, on the check, if you have one. Okay, and then account number. Uh, once I get this in, I'll flip it back over. Okay, so then the next section... Let's make sure, hmm, how am I going to do this? Okay, I think I've got it where you can't see. I'm going to flip it real fast. Okay, good, you can't see. <laughs> Just don't scroll, Margaret. Okay, so here it's asking, um, tell us more about yourself. So here's where I'll put me, my name, and then last name. 
and then date of birth here I'm just gonna flip out of this because because some of this is like other information you don't need all right May is my birthday you don't need to know what year but I'm gonna put the year on here going down here we go okay last four of the social so I guess you have to have a social <laughs> huh, 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 huh. setting that up okay and then home address so I have a PO box but it's asking for my home address so yeah I'm gonna just leave it like this for now let's just talk amongst ourselves while I fill this out but this is you know it's been a really long time since I've done this what? there we go so yeah, if you are not selling on uh, Merch by Amazon or if haven't thought about it, you might think about it. It's I never thought that I would really get into it, but I am really into it. So, do, 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 do. Okay, now then, do I click go? What's next? All right, I filled everything out. I'll flip it. Oh, I see now. There's the button. It's hiding again. As soon as that page is done, we'll move along. Okay, so now it's asking. Let me show you the screen. Now it's asking to set up billing, and this is for, um, so the, the fees every month. Now they, they might, like my Etsy shop where I sell vintage items, basically they kind of hold the money. It's not going straight to my PayPal like every time, you know, so you can request to be paid more frequently, but you can, I think it does it automatically every two weeks. So basically they'll hold the money for you. And then what I do is I just get them to take the fees out of that. But let's say you request the money, but then you haven't paid your shop fees yet for you know the, the final value fee, which is really low, 3.5%. Or if you have listings, like 20 cents a listing. So you'll have to have a, a credit card so that they can bill you. That was a really long winded reason to explain that they're gonna bill you if you have outstanding fees. So I'm gonna enter in that, so I'm gonna flip away from this so you can't see that either. And if there are any other questions, let me know. So, but, but because I have a PayPal um, account, I have a PayPal credit card like MasterCard, so I'm gonna use that. I think I can. Why not, right? So, name on the card. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I hope this is helpful. Or, oh, that's this card number. Uh -huh. That won't work. Okay, so now card number. And yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I hope this is helpful to anybody who has not set up an account yet. Yeah, and I wanted to do it live, like I say, in case anybody had any questions along the way or could tell me to slow down. I haven't done it in so long that, that it's all it's all new to me. So this way, too, we can answer questions if they come up. And I'll know. <laughs> I'll know that the answer is what it is. Now I'm just talking to myself. Okay, I filled that in. It's not filling in. Okay, fine. I'll write it out. What's my address? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Huh. City. Okay. It's not letting me. You know how it does like the drop down? It's not letting me like just select from there. Okay, now open your shop. Now here's the thing. Hang on. They're, they're loading everything and then I'll flip it over. Your shop is open for business. Now what I need to do real fast is go take down my thousand dollar item or whatever it was. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. Browser, okay. So here's what my shop looks like right now, and it's pretty empty, zero sales, um, all items. It's not showing my, my item, why not? View all items, here we go. So what I need to do here, because I made a dummy listing, is I need to go deactivate it because it's not real. So I'm clicking on it, and then right here it says listing tools, and I'm going to deactivate that. So just deactivate that, please. Now, I had somebody send me a question about how do I know if my 40 free listings showed up? So what you're going to do <clears throat> is when you come to listings and add a listing, it should show, it should show right there. 
So I clicked, it's not. So I don't know what happened. Um, so on this one, it did not. I don't know why, I clicked on Joe's link. Joe, check your link, because it didn't work for me. I don't know why. So um, the next thing that you can do to make your shop more personable is create a, a picture to put here. And so you can edit your shop, create you know your shop image, and your banner, that'll be a video for another time, you know, so get started. It'll tell you how to make a banner. If you have um, PicMonkey, you can create a banner in PicMonkey. And new ways to merchandise. Okay, yeah, add your shop story, blah, blah, blah. So there's that, and I think, okay, is there any questions on this part? Because then what I'll do is go show how to do a printful, to add a printful, um, listing onto Etsy. I don't know why it's not giving me the 40 free listings. I clicked on Joe's link, but it didn't give them, did it? No, it didn't. I'm still looking. Nope, it did not. So, and we saw that when I clicked on it, right? Okay. I don't know. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me see if there's any other questions on this section. And what, what I'll do is I'll make another video talking about how to create a a banner, I may have already done one, but I'll make a new one, like a banner and all of that, filling out the shop sections and, and your bio and all of this stuff. Um, let's see, stick with it, yeah. Um, Amazon has tiers allowing, yes, okay. Bye, home base hustler. Um, everyone begins, okay, they're talking about merch there. Margaret, if you have an Etsy account that you only used for buying, do you recommend starting a new store with the Printful integration? I'm thinking about that. Um, I would think it would be okay unless, unless you're being mean to people as yourself, as you're, <laughs> you know, like giving bad feedback. Or, but you can't really, tr I don't know if you can see what feedback you leave for other people. Not that I'm saying you are, Mario, not at all. <laughs> um, but I said I did because I wanted separation between my vintage stuff and my um, print on demand. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to log out of this one because I don't see any other questions coming in. So that's the basic. That was pretty straightforward, I think. So I'm going to sign out of this one. I'm going to sign into my Texas Gal downloads just because so you can see what it looks like. I don't mind. Somebody was saying, don't show everybody. But I'm not putting everything in here. <laughs> Let's see. One order open. Yay. So here's what it looks like. Texas Gal Designs. I've just started putting in some crop tops and things. But I was saying it looks so funny. That's why I was like, maybe I should put the baby stuff somewhere else because it's got like all these, you know, like all the dentist stuff and then all the motorboating stuff and then all the other stuff. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> Let me show you. I'm going to walk through a printful. Let me come over here because I don't know if I have to sign in at printful. A printful in integration listing so you can see what it looks like when it goes in. So I'm coming to printful and this is something that maybe I can show later. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to flip it over now. So when I get to printful, if if you're just here for Etsy because you're doing this for vintage stuff, leave me a comment if you have any more questions or like which parts of the setup you might need help with in the future, whether it's the banner or something like that. So I can make sure that I'm focusing in and I won't do it, I won't do it live probably. So I can really focus on how to do that. So here I'm going to flip over. And so it gives you like, what do you want to list? So let's say I want to list a shirt. I want to list, I don't remember seeing this before, the sublimation one. I don't remember seeing that. Am I missing something? Oh, all, I have never really done all over shirts, that's why. <laughs> there we go, that's what I'm used to. So then I'll select t-shirt, I'll select this, and then you upload your image. So I'm going to flip away because when I open my file with all of my shirt designs, then you can't see everything. So you guys saw this one already, so I can open that one. Okay, let me flip back so you can see now. So I chose this like pixelated green heart that I've got, and there are 10 shirt options on, 
on our, our images rather there's 10 images on Etsy so I choose this is my what I do I choose 10 on here but what I do I'll show you in just a second navy looks kind of does it look good on pink might be good on pink it's pretty bright see me coming there's a green one how many do we have I don't even know look down here okay but here's what my my thing 3xl and 4xl and brown and navy aren't available so I'm going to take those off because I want it to be available for everybody. Uh-oh, that's not available. Hey, what happened? Navy? I thought I took Navy off. I did. Okay, there we go. Let's just go with that. So now you've got these and I'm going to, hang on, I'm going to switch over because I don't know what this next screen looks like. So I'm going to proceed to mock-ups and it gives you the option, sorry I keep flipping back and forth because I don't know what's going to pop up, where you can do flat front or wrinkle front. I I select the wrinkle front because I think it looks more like a real shirt. And again, flipping back just in case. So it gives you what it's going to put in there. Like it fills in for you this standard short sleeve, blah, 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 blah. This is what it automatically fills in. Um, so I just keep that and I select proceed to pricing. I'm sorry I keep flipping back and forth because I just want to make sure. I leave the pricing as is. And then I click on submit to store. And it takes a minute to load it, you know, up. Hang on, let's see if I have it. There we go. Okay, I can show you now. <laughs> um, so it takes a minute where it's loading it over to my store. And then when I come back to my shop, let me move this up. What is happening over here? Okay. Then it's going to take it straight into draft mode. So let me come to my shop manager and go to drafts because it should be there in my drafts. And I am clicking, I'm trying to decide if there's something in I guess it doesn't matter, right? If I make anything else live that's in this store, you're going to see it because you know my store name now. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool, man. And then it's usually down at the very end. And is that the newest one updated September 26? Is that today? Yep, that's today. So this is the one. So here we go. Now I've got all of these. I have to decide which one looks like the best option, um, like to draw people in. So I might put a green one over there and then adjust and zoom it in some like that and save it. Now let's see. Luxury cars. I see you're aware of the word onesies trademark based on the fact one piece. So many people make that mistake. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think some of them, I may have accidentally put onesie in there in the description, so I'll have to go back and look. Yeah, so usually it's one piece. And I think Printful automatically does that. So here's what I do. So because, especially because this is something that I've got other listings for, um, I'm opening up my shop in another tab to show you what I do. So I can like copy the title and I'll just make changes to it over here. So they have, I'm going to walk through the whole thing so you can see because there's a really important step I messed up on the other day. I, I made a, a, a fix for it, but I just want to make sure everyone sees that. Lime green, yellow, pixelated heart, t-shirt. I'm just making sure I take out women's and crop top because it's not a crop top. I put print on demand. I go through in there and add print on demand just so people know that that's what's going on there. Um, on Trademark Hunter, it shows as dead. Oh, as onesie? Oh, okay, I'll have to look at that. Thanks. That's good to know. So look, these are already all filled in. So Printful, the integration already fills in about the listing. I did, finished product, made to order. They fill in this clothing, adult, tops, t-shirts. Um, they filled in, I offer more than one. They fill, I mean, they just fill a lot of stuff in. Manual, they fill in that. Now, this is the part you've got to make sure you add the production partner for as Printful. Now, when I have it, because I've done two, I've done it twice because I made a video about, it says like Printful, it's the integration, and it says update, important update or something like that. Um, but here's where you add a new production partner. And when you fill in that Printful is the production partner, there's two addresses to choose from. I chose the one in Los Angeles, but I think you can choose either. And then here we go. So here's a tip. Like I have, I'll just come over here and copy 
the description and paste it over here. I don't. I asked Young. I don't think he does that. I don't think he um, adds a description. He just leaves what they put in there. And then you can create sections. So I made a section for unisex shirts. And then here's what I do for my tags. This will save you a bunch of time. So if you've got one that's already up, then you can come and copy and paste the tags. Ooh, I think I put a lot of crop top in my tags though. Let's see, did I? Ah, some, okay, so I'll copy this. I just like hold my mouse down and select all these words. And then I'm clicking Command C for copy. Um, if, you have a, if you have a PC, I think it's Control C. And then I come in, now the tags you can only put, it can only be so long, so. This may seem weird, but but this is what I do. So then I'll select it all and I'll scroll back to this like this little point and then I click command X to cut it out. And then I'll do it again. So I don't have to like flip back and forth and be like, what will I put? I can't remember. Uh, and then X and then add it and then do it again. So I just, when I click command X, it just X's out what I've already got. X and then add it. So it saves a bunch of time adding in the gamer crop top. Now I don't have a crop, so I'm just going to X that out and just put gamer like that. Um, I'm gonna, I don't want crop top, so here's what I'll do. I'll do it, and then I'll take it off like that. So there, figured that out. And hang on, I'm going to look in the chat in just a second. I know I'm like hopefully not going too fast for everybody. So these are things like your SEO where your people are going to search for your item and what they might find, you know, how they might find it. So if I just put heart, like it would be harder. Even some of these are kind of vague. You want to think about what somebody's going to type into a search. And if you're not sure, then just kind of search what your item is and see what other people have put. And that'll help as well. I see things popping up in the chat. Hang on. I'm almost done. And V, two more. Oh, darn it. I forgot to X that out. There. And there. Go. Okay, chat. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, in the chat, let's see. Took me 11 months to get mine. Oh, for merch account, yeah. Um, what did you do while you waited? Curse a while. Okay. Um, how about, okay, good. They're talking about other stuff. Cool. Okay, so then, as you see, they have already filled in you know, the price, enterprise variations, because this is the, they've already got it all filled in. The quantity's filled in because you can order a bunch. Now, somebody mentioned like putting on here one or two because they were worried that somebody might try to attack their account and order a bunch and then cancel because it's going to come right out of your account. Like if you order 20 shirts, then it, Printful is going to take that money out of your account to fulfill, you know, because they take the money. I'll talk about that in a second. So somebody mentioned like putting like three. So nobody can, but I mean, if they really wanted to do it, they would like just go buy everything in your store, right? I, if they really were going to, people are going to, whatever. So the, the prices are already all filled in and then the shipping is already all filled in too. So it, it lets you know that this is the shipping that they have chosen and then they've already filled in the cost. Now destination, it shows, let's see if it's gonna go anywhere else. Canada is eight bucks, everywhere else is 10. So I don't know if they ship everywhere, but maybe. Um, so then that is that. And then you can preview it, save as draft, or make it go live. So I'm gonna publish that and see how it turned out. Let's click it over here and where'd it go? Oh. Did I not make it? Did I not make it go live? What happened? Okay, let's go back. What did I do? I think I may have hit draft. Because that little thing is on top of it. That little button. Rolling my eyes at that little button. Listings. Come on, listings. Leslie says it took five months to get the okay for merch. That's not bad. It took Randy almost a year. Did it not? Look, it's not there. What happened to it? Huh, maybe it's eco I Was I looking at the wrong thing? Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. I think because I had zoomed in, I thought it was a crop top. Duh. 
So here we go. There's that. Okay, so about get, about how it, uh, it works with the money. Now, I've only sold one shirt so far, so this is new for me. Um, and I had forgot to put in my credit card information on Printful, so I got a message saying, you know, you got an order, but we can't fulfill it until you enter your credit card information or your banking information or whatever they wanted. So basically, when someone buys the shirt on Etsy, Printful takes the money for it from your account and fulfills it, um, the, the amount that they are going to charge, and then you get the money from Etsy. So basically, the money from Etsy is replenishing what, what um, Printful is taking, and then there's also your profits and stuff. But then your Etsy fees will come out of that too, so that's how that kind of works. Okay, let's see if there's any any comments in the chat or anything I missed. So, okay, now I heard it was really tedious. Okay, yeah, okay. So that's um, pretty much how it, the rundown goes for setting up shop on Etsy. If you need some more help with that, let me know. Let me see if we've got any more. We've got 45 watchers. Hey guys, go over there and hit that thumbs up button. And yeah, um, Eboy, are you talking, are you asking me about easier to get traffic on print on Etsy? Etsy's got a, I mean, I know Amazon has got a huge, you know, everybody goes to Amazon, right? Um, but, but Etsy is also a really good place. And I find like, especially during Q4, whenever I compare my eBay and my Etsy, then my my Etsy shop does better than my eBay shop most of the time during Q4 because people go to Etsy looking for unique gifts. So I, I anticipate seeing a, a surge. Now, will it beat Amazon? Probably not, but it's going to be something there. Um, hey, hey, how's it going? Um, when does Etsy pay you after the purchase? Now, let me see what Etsy is saying on here. Well, mine hasn't shipped out yet, so it won't release the money for sure. But I know because I don't go and get it every day. I just wait for the two-week payout. But I know you can go in there and request the money sooner. So it, it probably has to wait at least until the order has been fulfilled. And I'll let you know as soon as this one is fulfilled. Um, so make sure, go... Go follow me on Texas Gal Treasures on Facebook, but also in um, Merch Minds. Join Merch Minds and join Merch University on Facebook because I'll, I'll post update there too because I don't know the answer to that because it hasn't happened yet. So I, in my other shop, but I, I don't know if it's different because I'm an established seller there. So they, they may vet you before they let you take your money every single day if you want it, or they may not. So... Can you have the same design on all platforms? It's okay with Amazon, and as far as I know, it's okay with Etsy, um, as far as I know. So I, I, yeah, I think so. I know it's okay with Amazon, so there, that's in their terms of service. Do you get better traffic analytics? Yeah, you can see where your, your analytic, you can see analytics on here. I'll have to look at that. This is stats, let me pop up the stats real fast. But you can see like how many people have viewed stuff or, hang on, <laughs> visits. I'm looking to see to total visits. Is that what I look at? Hang on, because that's like flatlining. Oh, because I just did it. <laughs> okay, so here, let me go back to my listings. Um, or, yeah, that's what I want to do. So here's my traffic stats. Oh, of course, it jumps away as soon as I want that stats here. I don't think it's going to show anything right here. So visits, it shows my visits, it shows explore data. There's lots of fun data to look at. Woohoo! I never look at my data. Is that bad? So let's see. <laughs> so set up Etsy or Printful first. I, I think you have to have your Etsy set up. I'm not sure. I mean, you could set up your Printful, but you can't point it to Etsy if there's nowhere for it to go. So I would think set up Etsy first. Yeah. Um, hey, Chris, this is Thrift Shop Hustlers here. And Trant, okay. Um, is there a minimum before you can request an Etsy payment? I'll find out. I'll find out. But I don't, I don't think so. Do you need to be a designer? No, nope, I'm not. Um, yeah, I'm definitely, like I taught for 14 years. So I've got lots of videos about how I create shirts and things like that. So yeah. 
<laughs> can I look at your? Oh, oh gosh, don't make it. Don't make it weird. Now you're making it weird. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is true. Going south fast. Um, so yeah, if you if you're interested and you're not a designer or anything, I am going to give a quick plug for my Patreon page. I have a Patreon set up. Um, it's like a subscription service where if you want um, designs, then I have levels for that. If you need like a small group to talk about your your designs or your keywords, then we we have something there for that. If you have got, I mean, any basically any need you might have. I, I have a level on Patreon to to share for that. So I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So my Patreon page looks like this. So if you go over there, along this side where it says rewards, if you go down, it'll say like what the subscription level is every month and what you get for that. Um, yeah, I create my, my t-shirts. I, well, I create the designs and then they print it and they do all the rest. Um, how do you make multiple stores? Are they supposed to be linked somehow? I think that you... From what I heard, you have to let Etsy know if you've got a separate shop. I will have to look in there and see how I did that. So I'll find out. Let me write that down. Let me write it down. So I'm going to be on my list. So when it sells, um, I need to find out, can I request, how, how soon can I request money? How soon? Sorry, y'all. Housekeeping. Request money. Because I'll forget even though it's right here. <laughs> and then is there a limit, right? On does it have to be a certain amount? Is I don't think so though. Is there a monetary uh, a limit before release? Before release and then linking Etsy shops. Link Etsy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ha, ah, there we go. So um Oh yeah, yeah. My my sons make some designs too. There's there's a site. It's a paid site. It's called Make Merch that they they enjoy designing on, and I do too. So yeah, <laughs> you, your kids can make designs as well. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers it. If you are new here, I know this was just really kind of all over the place, but I that's kind of how I wanted to go into it feeling new and not have it really polished because. When you are going to set up your Etsy shop, that's what you're going to encounter. It's not going to be all polished and perfect and ready to roll, you know, so you could see, I, so, and also so I could see the frustration or the different things that are popping up. Um, so let me know, again, if there's any other questions or any other parts you want me to walk through, because I can do that. I'll leave the shop, the baby one, as is, so if we need to do that, I'll come through and I'll use that as my, my guinea pig shop that we're, <laughs> that we're fussing with. Um, are there folks to call at Etsy and Printful like eBay customer service? That's a good question too. Customer service? I think um, Printful has got a pretty good customer service from what I've under, from what I've heard from other people. Customer service. I can't spell customer right now. Um, so those are some really good questions that I can find out answers to. And again, follow me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures, and also the Facebook groups, Merch Minds and Merch University, because I'm in there a lot. So, so yeah. Uh, and again, Designs by Shell. I'll find out about those linked stores, because I have heard that too. And I, my other ones are linked. I know they are. Okay, <laughs> so there's that. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're new here, welcome again. Um, I would love to have you subscribe. My channel's all about making and saving money, and Merch by Amazon and Print On Demand is a great way to make some extra money. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm able to really help supplement my family's income by creating shirts on Merch by Amazon. And my kids can earn extra money too. My husband's getting into it. Um, so yeah, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you're interested and you're like, oh my gosh, I missed this live, hit the little bell so that you're notified when I go live and you can be here for all the madness and all the fun in the chat because they have fun chatting. All right, so I think that's it. Your time is limited. I know that you want to get, that's like the story of my life, Chris. Do you know how much stuff I have going? I did a, I recorded this morning a video of me planning for my week. So you can see like how many balls I have in the air and how I have to try to like, and then I, have, I just jumped on the steam it and my website's finally behaving itself. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. 
thanks so much everybody go over there and uh, yeah hit that like button and again subscribe and I will I'll see you soon bye guys thanks so much